I think so, Brain. But where are we going to find rubber pants our size? Today on the Edgy Veg, I teamed up with my friend Megan from Healthy Grocery Girl and we are going to take the same three ingredients and make two different recipes for you. I asked my friend Rose, Cheap Lazy Vegan, to pick the ingredients. So Rose, what are the ingredients? So the two ingredients I choose are sweet potatoes and silken tofu. Because it's summer and you guys have been asking for tons of barbecue recipes, I decided to turn the sweet potato and tofu into sweet potato burgers. Because personally, I love burgers and I have a fiance who's a man and likes meaty barbecued stuff. Are you excited? I'm excited. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on these recipes every week. For our sweet potato, I have decided to roast it instead of boil it or put it in the microwave. I've seen that done, people putting it in the microwave to cook it, which is weird to me. So I've roasted sweet potato and I've cut it up and put it in a bowl. And I'm gonna take a fork and just mash the crap out of that. Then we're gonna take our tofu and I'm just going to take that and crumble it with my hams hams, hands into the bowl, kind of like I'm making like tofu scramble or something. So I finally chopped up one onion, put it into a frying pan and cook it down a little bit till it's soft and translucent. I'm using finely chopped cilantro. For texture, I'm adding some corn. I just like the kind of like sweet burst of flavor that it gives. If you don't like corn or you're not into corn, as much as you can be into corn. You can use like nuts or even like lentils or beans. Beans are really good too. To help thicken it up and kind of keep it together, I'm using panko breadcrumbs. Again, you can use whatever breadcrumbs you like. I have some cayenne pepper for heat and we have some white pepper. Some garlic powder. That way we don't have to like mince up any garlic. Ah, time saving. I really like paprika, tossing that in there. I have nutmeg because that's what Rose wanted me to use. My buns are a pretty good size, so I wanna make sure that the burger matches the size of my buns, because if you don't have an equal bun to burger ratio, the burger just gets overwhelmed by the bun. I get lots of compliments on my buns. <laughs> now that my burgers are the same size as my buns, <clears throat> I'm cooking them for three to five minutes on each side and flipping them, obviously, since you want to cook them on each side? This is a disaster today. Three to five minutes on each side, pre-cook them in a pan and then take them up to a barbecue and finish the cooking there. Or you can just cook them in a pan. I don't recommend cooking them just on the barbecue without pre-cooking because they can fall apart. Our burgers are cooked, our buns are toasted. The next logical step is to dress my burger. Haters gonna hate, potatoes gonna potate, and cut. Okay. I'm ready. I'm hungry. James? Yes, oh, I do. Came out of nowhere. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> That's a meaty burger. Really tasty. So guys, if you like this recipe, give it a big thumbs up, and make sure that you check out Megan's channel for another recipe using sweet potato and tofu, and a little bit of nutmeg. It's dessert, so you can have this for dinner, sweet potatoes for dinner, sweet potatoes for dessert. It's a balanced meal. And if you guys wanna eat with us, we are going to be at VidCon. <laughs> Didn't even plan that, that's weird. Yes, we are going to be at VidCon. We are doing a meetup June 24th. We're going to meet down uh, Food Truck Alley and hopefully- Food Truck and hopefully they have some vegan food for us to eat. And let us know if you're gonna come and see us at VidCon. Leave us a comment. Here. And subscribe. Subscribe and we can be friends forever. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> this just... become very good at that. All right, so there you go. There you have your kimchi carrot wiener. Vegan kimchi carrot wiener. It's a vegan hot dog. Mmm.